Hi friends, uh, here is another type of problem of arithmetic progression related to sum of the anthem formula, right? Uh, so here, the question is saying here, the first term of an AP is 5, the last term is 45, and the sum is 400. Find the number of terms and the common difference, right? So we need to find out the common difference and the number of terms in the series or in the progression, right? So whatever uh, we have got uh, from the question, let me write one by one. First we have got the first term that is 5, right? The last term that is 45 and the sum of the n terms or sum of the series, right? Uh, that we have got, this is equals to 400, right? And we need to find out the number of terms that is and we have to find out and the common difference we need to find out common difference we need to find out right so as I have already told you uh, there are five variables all together uh, in uh, in two formula of the sum of the n terms and if we will be given uh, means gen generally in uh, problems we'll be getting three things and we need to find out the one or the two right so exactly as I told you before uh, here we have got the three things and we need to find out these two things and now what I want to write here that as I have already mentioned there are two formulas so let me write the sum of the n terms formula both right so that is n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d this is uh, the sum of the n terms formula and we have another formula and there is another formula and when we are given the l uh, means the com last term right if you are given the last term then we have to use this formula that is n by 2 right a plus l right so here are two formula right sum of the n terms there are two formula so depending on the situations right we have to sometimes use this formula and sometimes we have to use this formula so now see here when we will use this formula when we will be using this formula we will get the value of d and n but at once both d and n we are not given right in this formula but if we apply first uh, uh, this formula we, if we will use this formula we will get the value of n because a is given l is given and s n is given here right s is also given l is also given and a is also given so we can find the value of n and when we will get the value of n we will be using the same f uh, value of n in this formula then we will calculate the value of d right so first i have to use this formula right so here as n equals to n by 2 a plus l right so or as n sum we have got 400 right equals to n we don't know that we need to find out but we have got the a and l a is 5 and l is 45 so a plus sorry uh, 5 plus 45 right so 5 plus 45 that is equals to n upon 2 5 plus 45 that is 50 right so 225 yeah? so now I can write uh, arranging this that 25 n is equals to 400 or I can say now n is equals to 400 divided by this 25 right so 25 16 yeah? 400 so the total number of terms here are right n number of terms so we got the value of n that is 16 right we got the value so now n equals to 16 also now by applying everything in this formula we can easily calculate the common difference right so I'm just applying this here mm, all the information that we got uh, let me change the color this one right so as n equals to n upon 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times the common difference right so as n we have got 400 n upon 2 and we recently find out that is 16 upon 2 2 a is uh, 5 right uh, here the first term of a b is 5 and n minus 1 n is again we got 16 minus 1 right times the common difference or 2 8 is a 16 and 8 50 is a 500 because 8 5 is a 40 and then 1 0 50 right so 50 equals to 2 5 is again 10 plus 16 minus 1 that is 15 D 
uh, or further I am writing uh, I'm just uh, subtracting this 50 minus 10 equals to 15 D or what I can write that 15 D is equals to 40 therefore common difference D equals to 40 upon 15 now 5 3 za and 5 8 za so our common difference is 8 upon 3 right this is my common difference I can also write like this 2 whole number 2 by 3 right so this is the common difference right we got the common difference 2 whole number 2 by 3 so we got the common difference also that is 2 whole number 2 by 3 so we get all the values that our question was requiring right the common difference also and uh, the number of terms also so like this we have to find uh, the uh, we have to solve such kinds of problem uh, again I'm repeating that total there are five variables in uh, any kinds of formula any kinds of sorry any kinds of problem of the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression arithmetic sequence there are altogether five variables you'll be getting three variables every time almost right almost every time you'll be getting three variables out of these five any any of uh, three you will be getting and you have to find rest of the two right so keep these things in the mind and you can solve any kinds of problem any kind of problem okay uh, in next video we'll be doing a little bit different problem uh, than this and I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit uh, and my approach was success okay we'll be meeting in next video bye bye